Reese's first book, second year of partnership with American Heritage Chocolate, and we've been able to really work with them to do some things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to do. American Heritage's partnership with First Book is really important to us because we are aligned on the same mission. We both share a passion for putting educational materials in the hands of kids. We know that students learn better when they're experiencing things and when they get to see it, touch it, feel it, and taste it. So that's part of what today is all about. Get your drink so you can try some chocolate. We have a cactus garden here that has over 600 species of cacti, so they're going to get to learn about that. They're going to get to see um, how chocolate was made back in the 17 and 1800s and how it's made today, because they're going to get a little tour of our facility. And we're also doing this reading and discovery experience today, which is sort of a, a very fresh take on a, a reading party, but we've never done it quite like this, so this is super exciting for us. The candy was like currency in the war ravaged Germany. It really has an awesome way of helping students see history through the lens of chocolate. Does anybody know where Coco grows? It's just great to see the smiles on the children, to be able to engage them in a bunch of different ways, get them to uh, learn about some history, some culture. Part of the Morris Henderson mission is to be in the community, a part of the community, and giving back to the community. And for us to be able to do this with a group of kids, it's a real joy to see them enjoy all the activities that we have here. We do a lot of work with uh, Whitney Elementary and have throughout the years. Felt like it would be a really good opportunity to participate in something that these kids are going to enjoy for the day and hopefully remember. I enjoy the, the excitement that they have whenever they hear something that they haven't heard before. And that was my reason for wanting to do it. Our kids are very underprivileged. They live in a life of chaos and crisis every day. So to come here and then to see what they saw today with the chocolate and, and have people pay attention to them and think that they're worth doing this for means a lot. It means everything for these kids. Some lucky fourth graders from C.C. Rono Elementary and Whitney Elementary were introduced to the history of chocolate. We actually partnered with a National Geographic book uh, to create an educator's guide. 